Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You are alone too much. Be with the Salihin. Be with people who are passionate. Either you're alone or you're just surrounding yourselves with people who don't have passion. If you're alone, you're just surrounding yourself and being busy with just your own thoughts, your own malayani, maybe your own ego, definitely. Because your heart is not moving. How did the Sahabi's heart, how did they move? Of course, Wahhabis are going to say, because Allah turned their hearts. Of course, Allah turned their hearts. That's a given. But how did their hearts move? Because of the Prophet And how did their hearts move towards Islam? Because of their love of the Prophet that they fall in love with Islam. So in order to have that passion, be around passionate people. Talk to them. Learn from them. If you have a shaykh, then he may knock you wall to wall. That is what a shaykh must do to clean you. If he's sitting there just praising you, run away from him. He wants something from you. But if he is knocking you wall to wall and he doesn't ask anything from you, he doesn't want anything from you, then stay a little bit. See if you have changed for the better. But be around people who have passion that is going to influence you. Everyone thinks that they are so unique. Everyone, alhamdulillah, Allah has created us unique. That is a testimony to his own uniqueness, that he has never created anything that is a duplicate. Not two drops of rain, not two snowflakes, not two people, not even the two steps that you make your whole life can be duplicated. Testimony to his oneness. But this world wants to make us to be the same while saying you can be different. You can only be different, the world is saying, by following us. It's finished then. By the time you finish. So, don't think that you are so unique. Be humble a little bit. Be around those ones. It's not, they're not looking whether they are unique or not. They're not looking whether they are interesting or not. It's, all those things doesn't matter to them too much. What matters to them is how to increase the passion that they have for the way of Allah. Everything else then will fall into place. Inshallah, when you start doing that, if you don't have a share, find one. If you have a share, learn how to understand and to obey and to take from him. If you don't have a share, find good people. Because as Hazrat Ali Karmalawacha is saying, the man's religion, it is according to the religion of his friends. So who are you hanging out with? I'm not hanging out with anyone. Then you just hang out with your shaitan and your ego, that's all. And never they are going to say, have passion for Allah. Inshallah, Rahman, it is not only the passion for the ibadats. That is also a stage that, a phase that you go through. You love to worship, you love to worship, it's so good, okay. But what if you don't have a passion to worship? Are you still going to worship or not? Most people, they just leave it. So our relationship to that is still like humans relationship. They want to have romance all the time. If there's no more romance, they say the marriage is dead. Correct? They just want that honeymoon period. If there's no more honeymoon period, then it's finished. They only want that phase where you feel um, strange and you feel uh, strong that even the, the Greeks in the early days, they say when, when you fall in love in that stage, in that initial phase, in that very young phase, that is a sickness. It's not mature yet. A mature love is completely different. And the maturity of love, it goes on and on and on and on. It's never ending. So we want that mature love. 
We don't want that love that is only selfish because I feel something, so it's good for me. If I don't feel it, it doesn't work for me. Once that love turns away from you to the object of your love, then you may move forward a little bit. You understand? May Allah forgive me. Assalamu alaikum.